In this video I'm going to talk you through how to activate the Akismet plugin. Now Akismet is an anti-spam plugin and it comes pre-installed in WordPress. If you accidentally delete it or on purpose delete it like I did in the how to delete a plugin video it's quite easy to reinstall it and it installs in the conventional manner. Okay with it installed just simply click here on activate and there we go this plugin is now installed and it says here Akismet is almost ready you must enter your Akismet API key for it to work so you have to get an Akismet API key now up until recently you could get one automatically assigned if you had a wordpress.com blog but recently they've changed that so now you have to go here where it says sign up for an Akismet API key so click here and it takes you to this page here and you click on this button here that says get an Akismet API key and then you have to decide which plan that you want and if you're going to use this for commercial purposes you now have to pay for the uh, API key and you can see the various plans that they have uh, for multiple site access if you're selling things from your blog it's fifty dollars a month if you're a professional with a single site and it's a non-personal site or a blog it's five dollars a month or if you're using it just for personal blogs then you can sign up and make a donation so click here on where it says sign up it takes you to this page here and what you have to do is fill out your contact information first name last name and then confirm your email so I'll just do that then you're asked to make a contribution and you can adjust the slider bar here to determine how much you want to pay or contribute per year and you can pay by credit card or PayPal as this is a demonstration and I'm not really going to use this I'm going to be really mean and slide the bar down to zero. Obviously if I was using it I would probably go for the five dollar a month plan because if I had a blog like this I would probably be using it to sell an affiliate product or something like that. Okay and you then say that by clicking continue you agree to the terms and conditions and privacy policy so you'd want to take a look at those and agree to them before you click continue and then click on the continue button and there we go that's done now you'll be sent the API key via email and then you can click this link here to go back to your WordPress account so I'll just do that now and it takes you back to the configuration page and we should have if I check my inbox there we go that's the API key in here and I can click the email to open it. Now, a word of caution, these things are quite valuable, so you do not want to share them with the world. Keep it quiet, keep it secret like you would a password. So I'm just gonna pause the video now while I get my API key. Okay, I've copied that to the clipboard, so now I need to enter it. And just paste it in here. and then you can check one or both of these check boxes which will auto delete spam submitted on posts more than a month old and show the number of comments you've approved beside each comment author I'm going to go ahead and click yes for this and then click on update options okay now I need to configure this if I just reduce that and go over to settings and click here on the link that says discussion you can see the discussion settings here they're all part of this plugin some come pre-checked and my advice would be to leave the ones that are checked by default properly checked one that I would check if you want to be very careful or very cautious is this one here 
users must be registered and logged in to comment and also because a lot of people when they're posting spam comments they will also put a link there are commercial software packages available that will enable you to place a comment with a link in somebody's WordPress blog for SEO backlinking purposes so you can see hold a comment in the queue if it contains two or more links personally I will make that one or more link so every time someone tries to make a comment and leaves um, a link you can approve it or disapprove it um, before it gets posted okay the other one to do is here where it says comment blacklist now a lot of spam posts are going to be for things like Viagra or phony college degrees or knockoff watches uh, fake watches that sort of thing so what you can do is put a blacklist comment in here so say I want to flag up any post that has the word Viagra in it just enter that there and then if you want to put any more let's say watches and so on so add them in one word per line a word of caution obviously if your blog is about further education or it's about selling watches then obviously you wouldn't want to put watches or degrees in here so you need to be careful that it's not going to stop people who are going to be um, making a legitimate comment on your blog from actually making that comment and you can also have a setting here for avatar displays you can do the show avatars gravitars and so on and for gravitars you can also set the maximum rating like there and also again the default avatar for people who don't have an avatar or gravatar I'm going to keep it there as mystery man and then click here to save changes so there we are the settings are all saved and that should help prevent spam comments from being placed on this blog